This is Anil, I'm a realtor. So one of my clients, we bought a property. I'm a partner. So that property actually the other attorney because we are sellers. So buyer side attorney sent a letter saying that there are a couple of liens. Usually when we buy from auction, you know, township give a deed and deed says no lien. So we were confused. So as the expertise, I knew they buy. He's a president of uh, Providence Abstract, and then he told me to talk to Maria. She is a counsel. So Maria, can you tell us like what happened in that situation where we were there? in your in your situation? Hmm? In your situation, you had a couple of odd moving parts there. You have a foreclosure. Um, the mortgage that's being foreclosed is a reverse mortgage. Um, basically, the um, people who are over a certain age are able to take a mortgage out, then live off the equity of the property. Reverse mortgages are highly regulated. So when you take out the first reverse mortgage, it also takes a mortgage with HUD at the same exact time. So when she passed away, I'm guessing her relatives just let the property go and they foreclosed on the first mortgage. Your mortgage company set, your title company set up a commitment that says, yes, there's a foreclosure, but then also identified the second mortgage with HUD as an open mortgage. Got you, okay. That mortgage is most likely part of the foreclosure proceeding because there's no reason they would have foreclosed one and not foreclosed the other. They're a package deal. Got you. Okay, I like to make my title commitments so it's very clear what's being foreclosed. So while they listed the foreclosure and then the mortgage separately, I would have listed, this is a foreclosure, this is what should have been foreclosed, and then when I check my chancery, it's a checklist of what I'm checking for my chancery to make sure everything's empty. Um, both ways are right. I just do it that way to make it more understandable for the home buyer because they don't understand what a foreclosure and reverse mortgage and how it works. Yeah, so what I think you what you the way you are doing is better because in that case the hyperventilation wouldn't have come, we would have got a clear deal and we would have closed, but now the other title is sitting and they are asking us and we have no idea. Uh, luckily we have experts sitting here. Thank you so much. She, uh, we can go and happily sleep and then hopefully get it resolved. And chancellor, so, what is chancellor just in case? The chancellor search is a search of the actual New Jersey Superior Court. Okay. of everything that was filed on a specific case got you okay um in this case on the foreclosure got you so that would be done and that how they will be able to remove it hopefully right so what they'll do is they'll check to make sure the secretary of hud was notified mm -hmm. of the foreclosure action notified that they are part of the mortgages being foreclosed and given a chance to file an answer if hud doesn't file an answer then the foreclosure goes forward hud almost never files an answer so I'm not your deal. I'm not worried about. <laughs> okay, thank you. Wow, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, well, even though she's not uh, getting that business because, as I said, we are sellers and buyer attorney picked another title company, and that title company kind of gave us uh, all the oh my gosh, nightmares. So I'm glad I came here and I'm so happy I connected to the right people. Bye bye.